Hey, what's up guys, it's Andrew, and today I'm going to be showing you 8 apps to get more out of your max menu bar. Alright, now a majority of these apps are hosted on the Mac App Store, but some of them aren't, so you will have to download them and install them manually. The install instructions for each app, along with a quick little breakdown of each one, is over at the full guide at Gadget Hacks, so be sure to check that out before getting started. And uh, right now, I'm going to show you the first app, which is Clip Menu. You go ahead and install that via a DMG, and pretty much what you do is once you open it, you allow it to run and then now you could select if you want it to run on system startup that's just a personal preference I do not want it to do that so I'm going to click don't want to start up and now here you're going to pretty much see a history of all the things you have um, on your clipboard now right now I only have one entry but as you continue building the list it'll add more so let's say if I were to copy this Google Drive text now in the clip menu I would see two options and then if I select that one I can go ahead and copy and paste that in and it will change the name. All right, also included in, in clip menu is an option to create a snippet menu, which will allow you to create uh, custom text phrases that you could always copy and paste something like your email address or your actual home address, make it easier to fill out applications or send off emails. To do that, all you have to go to is the preferences menu, hit snippet, then create um, a different folder, a title for the snippet, and then the actual content of the snippet as well. And then for the general menu, you could also um, enable the launch on login if you didn't do that to begin with. All right, next up we have Ejector, which is a pretty simple app. All, you, all it does is it gives you a one-touch option to eject all your drives attached to your computer. So if you have multiple USB drives, your external hard drives, all you have to do is hit eject all to eject them all at the same time. Or you can select one at a time to, select them to eject them individually. Next up, we're going to have Bartoons, which is an iTunes companion app, and it does pretty much everything else that a iTunes app would do, which is menu bar playback controls, but in addition to having that, you could also um, change up the rating as well, if you're into categorizing your music by um, the star rating, and you could also change the icon to an Almart or just the regular menu bar icon, depending on your preference. It does switch between um, night and dark mode, so you don't have to worry about that compatibility. All right, next up we have QuickShot, and when you first open that up, you are gonna need to select the folder where your screenshots are normally stored. That'll most likely be your desktop, unless you change that manually. And after you have found the folder, just click Allow, and that's pretty much it. Now whenever you take a screenshot, it'll be stored on QuickShot as well. So you can see here, that you have your quick your screenshots available to view from the quick shot menu and it also if you just drag and drop it if you just click on the icon you can also just drag and drop them anywhere you want and if you don't want to create screenshots and you want to rather just do a screen recording all you have to do is open up record it that is a screen recorder but instead of working just like how QuickTime works, after you create a recording up to five minutes, it will automatically upload it to the recorded website and give you a link in your clipboard so that you can share that with anybody else you want. Now, all you have to do is after the app is launched, is click the icon, hit record, select the area of the screen that you want to record, and then once you're ready to start recording, hit the record button. After it records and you're satisfied with the recording, hit stop. Now it'll generate the video along with the link, and you could also see the recording from the menu bar. All right, after you click on the link, it'll go ahead and open up in a web browser, and you go ahead and view the recording that you have. But if you'd rather not share a recording from, as a video file, you could also create a GIF as well. Just depends on um, your preference. There's also a pro version that you could purchase for $29, which will allow you to create increase the frame rate and allow you to pass and protect your recordings in case you don't want them to be viewed by anybody else. Now next up, I'm gonna be showing you a display menu, but unlike the regular display menu that comes with OS X, this one is available at all times, not just when an external display detected by your Mac. So you're actually able to change the resolution on the fly whenever you want. If you have an external monitor plugged into your Mac, you could also um, change up your mirroring display options along with changing the resolution of that external monitor as well. If you'd rather go to the full display preferences, all you have to do is click that option and you'll be brought directly to your system preferences. All right, these last two apps are going to have to deal with uh, shortcuts. The first one is X Menu, and that's pretty much for document and 
directory shortcuts. So if you go ahead and open up X menu, you will see this new menu pop up in your menu bar. And now right now, I only have the user defined X menu available, and that's because I just wanted these specific folders and apps to be shown. But if you go into the preferences, you could also enable it to show your applications folder, your developer folder, home and documents folder as well. Now, this is pretty much all different menu bars up top. So if you want to decrease or increase these menus, just and disable them. But if you want to create a more customized version, I su suggest just using the user defined menu. In order to create the user defined menu, you can't do it from the app. You will actually have to open up Finder, go to your home folder, and then once you're in the home folder, go to library application support and then scroll down to X menu there you will find a custom folder and then all you have to do is just copy and paste aliases from either your directories or your apps or your documents and just put them in there now you're also going to see the snippets folder which is for the snippets X menu and there you could store text files that you can copy and paste similar to the way that clip menu works all right and the last step is going to be menu prefs which is a system preferences shortcut menu and um, you, pretty much it gives you all the different sections of your system preferences along with a show all button to go directly to your system preferences app and if you don't see what you need in the list um, but if you go to the preferences you could also create a custom list by dragging and dropping these sections over and you could also adjust the icon size if you would like to have that option enabled if you move it down to none it will just show a regular list of all the different sections all right guys gonna do it for this video be sure to check out the full guide over at gadget hacks and like always be sure to like comment and subscribe have a good one guys